Hi everyone, uh, Daniel J. Hogan back here again for another quick uh, drawing cartoon video thing. Yeah, that works. So this is another one of my 100 day project cartoons that starts as a random watercolor shape that I just, you know, make with a big old brush. Uh, look at my previous video to uh, find out more about um, the brush and the paints I use. This is a Daniel Smith watercolor paint. Uh, I I think this is shadow violet. I can't remember. I'll uh, I'll double check it and I'll put it in the. I'll mention it in the in the notes on the bottom here. But uh, all my pieces are for sale at my website Daniel <clears throat> DanielJHogan.com/shop. So go there and check it out. And uh, my comic Foxes and Boxes is on hiatus right now, but it's coming back in July, and that's at Cloudtron.com. So I'm going to get started. As I mentioned in my last video, um, I've been using my new iPad Pro to kind of figure out what I'm going to do with the shape before I start drawing it out here, which has helped out a lot because it, it it gives me a chance to kind of experiment a little more and not just go for the easiest solution, which I didn't always try to do. I did try to make the effort not to do that, especially this year. But um, it does help me avoid falling into that and using that as a crutch where like, oh, okay, well, it looks like a snake. I'll make it a snake. But I did, I bet, I feel I've been pretty good about that this year about not just sticking to the obvious thing. So, um, so uh, like I said before, this is just my kind of sample mat thing that I don't worry about using for real. It's marked up. Just, just gives me a guideline. This is a five by seven opening. The mat itself is eight by 10. Um, which means it'll fit any standard 8x10 frame, and the majority of matted artwork I sell is matted 8x10. And since I've been doing that at art festivals, I've been selling a lot more stuff because it's, it's a standard frame size, and I've actually pivoted away more from selling framed things to more just matted stuff because a lot of feedback I got was people liked the art, but they aren't always crazy about the frames I had. So, but I still sell some frame stuff, but that could be a whole other video. So anyway, let's get to drawing here. I'm actually going to rotate this here to kind of get the shape I want, the direction I want rather. This is also why I use this too, because in years past when I was still figuring all this stuff out, I tended to go out of the edges and it wouldn't be a uh, frame safe so now I don't have that problem which is good and again for inking I'm using these zebra disposable brush pens you can get them on amazon or jetpens.com I'll have a link down below in the, in the notes and uh, also using some micron pens uh, which you can get basically anywhere that sells art supplies but I'll also have a link for them down in the notes so I'm gonna get started here what I like about these pens, as I mentioned in the last video, is they're waterproof, they're archival. Same thing for the Microns. And these kind of have a uh, a brush tip on them, which gives them a little more give and line width. So anyway, I'm going to get started here. Probably figure out what this one's going to be pretty much already. Some sort of chicken, because why not? That's a, you know, that's kind of, actually it wasn't the first idea I had. I had about 
two or three other ideas based on my uh, Procreate file. And uh, but I just I kind of liked this one. I thought it was a, a stronger cartoony piece than the other ones I came up with. in here. Yeah, whatever. I'll make like a real sign thing or something eventually, but this will do for now. If you're wondering where I get my business cards, I get them through moo.com. Moo like a cow. They do great stuff. I've been using them for years. No regrets. So you can see how big that tip is compared to this one. That's why I like these pens because they're, especially this big one, like you can really kind of, you know, lean into it to get a thick line. I do like line variation. It's, it's fun. Okay, so that's the bulk of it here. We got a hen, but not totally done yet. I got something else, but I'm going to do this real quick here uh, so I don't forget and run out of room. And I probably should look that up before I did that. This was uh, technically yesterday's, so I'm just referring to it. So this is day 74. Okay. So as you can see, I'm just adding little tiny baby chicks down here. Just a real simple. Cute little things because we all need cute things right now. You know? So these microns are 
great because they're also archival and they're waterproof. And these are good if you want a um, consistent line. Unlike these, the brush tip where the tip will kind of vary based on the weight, these will basically give you a consistent line no matter what. Which is good or bad depending on your point of view or, you know, they're good for different things. I'll just get crazy here. And... If you've ever been around baby chicks, but they're all like, they're pretty loud. But that's okay. They gotta let mama know where they are, right? Go to a smaller one here. So that was that was five. I'm going down to one. Let's get some little tiny details there. Okay, let's I'll do, I'll do one more here. That's good. So there we go. That's uh, I'll call this one mother hen, I guess. So that's good to go. Like I said, that's day 74 out of 100. So I'm closing in on the final stretch there. Uh, thanks for watching. This and the others are for sale at danieljhogan.com slash shop. Or just go to the site and click on the shop button or look in the sidebar for the latest pieces. I'm adding a new piece every day, basically. Unless I don't, because, you know, stuff happens. But, uh, yeah, go check it out and make sure to follow me on Instagram, uh, at Clidertron on Instagram, where I post stuff as well. And thanks for watching.